All right, guys, welcome back once again to the Sand Flats. Ultra shallow. Like, look at that. We're so shallow, I'm fully beached. I'm actually going to be stuck here all night, probably. But I dare say it'll be worth it if we can get a good few fish. So what I'm going to be doing is casting around just a range of different jerk shads, ranging from five to eight inches. Jerk shads are probably my favorite soft plastic lure at the moment. And we're just going to be burning them along this big expanse of Sand Flats, trying to find some predatory fish, notably big, dusky flathead. So we're going to get a few casts out, just cover all the ground as much ground as possible in the couple hours of sunlight that we have left and hopefully we can get on some good fish yes no wow that was big that was big that was a big croc Let's see if we can find another one There we go. Yes. Oh, come on. Croc on. <sighs> Looks to be a pretty good one. It's coming right up in the shallows. Oh my days, that's huge. Just wanna turn him. I thought he spat it, but the plastic's just gone off funny. It's a pretty good croc to start the sesh fat, fat croc. Come on. Not a giant, but in the net. There he goes. Oh, man, he was fully like wrapped up like a baby. Oh, he's out. That's a pretty solid one. Net's caught in there. Just gonna crush the barb and pull it through. Cause it's gone right through his bottom jaw. Stop. It's off. Man, that was so hard to get it off. Let's quickly get him back. Power's off. Man, the hook was in a really weird spot. Like it was kind of like in the bone. So I had to crush the barb as you can see to pull it back through. Got it off healthy in the end, but no point getting a measure up. Probably around 75, I'm guessing. Had to cut a massive chunk of the net out. I hate how they um shake so much in the net and get all spun up and tangled. I want to get like a different net. This is supposed to be one of them environ enviro nets or whatnot. Need an environment her net. <laughs> you feel me? Something a little bit better than that, just so it doesn't get so twisted next time. That's a bummer. That's still a good croc to start the session. Let's just tie everything back up. Try to get another one. Got a colossal tangle in the net, so I've just had to cut everything off. Probably gonna just retire that setup for this afternoon. Move on to a smaller jerk shad or a bigger jerk shad or double clutch, which I've got as well. So got options. Glad I bought a few setups now. After I've had to cut that off after the first fish, but we'll send something out there. Hopefully get a few more. Just gonna throw around this tiny little five inch. Wait, isn't five inch average, right? No, I'm kidding. All right, shut up. <laughs> just gonna be chucking around this five inch um, little jerk shad. Uh, slightly lighter setup, but still should get hit by some big crocs. Send it out again. <gasps> Massive flight, he just came up and ate it right there. It came up and ate it right there, I saw it eat it. I literally saw it come and eat it right there. Did you see that? I don't know if the GoPro picked that up. I was watching it, I watched it eat it. All my days. I literally watched him eat it. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm a professional. Did you see that? All my days, that's a big one as well. I literally saw him come up and smash it right there. I thought I was hallucinating. I was like, yep, decent hallucination. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Dude, I honestly thought I was passing. Oh. 
All my days, had to be quick there. Wow. The problem is there's no water under my boat because I'm so shallow, I'm like beached. She's probably gonna pass again. Yep. So hard to net and fish. Don't want to snap me line on the anchor. Come on, young boy, stop being silly. He goes in the net. On the deck. Mate, I saw you come and eat it. You thought you were slick? I saw you right on the top of the mouth. All right, come on, come on, young fatty. Ah, chill. Just want to pop it out. Come over here. <clears throat> hey, tail slap me. Not easily out. Did I say I get a measure on this one? Cause that's pretty big. <clears throat> oh, snapped it. I'm a genius. All right, let's get a quick measure on this. Pretty, pretty big one. Not a giant, but a pretty good one. It is going 74, 75. Pretty similar length to the other one. Just a bit fatter, but we're gonna send it off. I saw you eat it right there. You thought you were slick. Off it goes. Look at that fish. Oh, I should get a GoPro shot. Hold on. Go back to the boat before it drifts off without my fat ass weighing it down. Man, that was so good. Literally ate it right there. I saw him eat it. I was like, yep, that's surely a hallucination. And it was just literally a fish. Smashed it right there in front of me. How good is that? It must have just been sitting there. It's cruised off now, nice and healthy. Just gonna get it back out there. See if there's any more here because we've got technically three because we had that one that got off and um, those too. So I don't know how many we're gonna get out of the same area, but do they say it's worth we keep trying because they haven't slowed down as of yet. Oh, right there. Oh, right there again. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm a nutter. I am a moron. It was right there. <gasps> Come on. There was one on it. There was one on it. Two cars in a row, big hit. Come on. I'm gonna throw a double clutch in there. Something that they can't miss the hook on. There was one chasing it. There was one chasing it all the way in. Oh my goodness. It's spooked. Just over here. All right, there weren't no love, more love on the double clutch. Seems reluctant to hit it as well. I think it's so shallow that maybe they're a little bit, maybe you could see the hooks and it's just a little bit hook shy, but chuck back out the jerk shed. I'm actually gonna chuck on a uh, bad shad color. Bad shad's obviously a little bit more natural. It's got a color change in it. Gonna chuck one of them on. That looks really good. I'm sure that's gonna get smashed. Just changing spots slightly. I knew I'd have to do this. This is how they change spots in the old fashioned days. Look how deep it is. It's ridiculous. All right, let's send this. Bad Shad, Jerk Shad back out. Or oh, out for the first time, just tied it on. There we go. Oh, got off. Eat it again, you little knob. Come on, it's flav. It's tasty. I feel like I need to go, oh, there's, a he there's one. Wow. I feel like I need to go tighter to set the hook, but I've got such light line that I don't want to snap anything. All right, so I think I have to do a bit of an intermission. Some guy came, drove straight through where I was casting. I was like, oh, you got anything, mate? And uh, yeah, undoubtedly scared all the fish away. So a bit of a stinker, but not going to tell us some cute old man. <laughs> Even though I'm gravely depressed right now because they were on and he literally just drove straight through here and was like, oh, you got any, mate? Yeah, they won't be back here for another 45 minutes now. So going to move a little bit, come back here in like an hour. 
and see if they've come back. But for now, yeah, I'd say this spot is well and truly cooked. Let's get a move on. See if we can find some somewhere else and we'll come back here later. Guys, I could honestly cry right now. I was just cruising over here with my um, encoder to a new spot and I swear I spooked a metery. A uh, full-fledged metery. All my days, I'm like legit shaking, boys. Bro, there was like a 60 centimeter one, right? And I saw it, it was like dark on top of the weed and it swam and when it swam off, it spooked another one and I didn't even see it because it was so big. It was like a freaking alligator. It was like, it was a meter. It was 100% a meter. It was like that thick. What the hell? I've never seen one that big, and the only time I do is when I spook it. All in a day's work, spooking away my dream fish. Oh my days. I'm gonna set up my heavier rod, because my little point PE8, I don't trust on that thing. So if I hook something like that, I need to be prepared. <laughs> Obviously, like I said, that guy drove straight through my last spot, spooked all the fish, but there were so many back down here. So I'm gonna set my guitar on you leader and get out there. All right, I've tied a leader back on, slightly heavier setup. Seven is jerk shed on there now. Let's see if we can find one of those big fish that spooked before. Oh my goodness, come on. The sky looks amazing. The fish aren't biting anymore, but again, who cares? Look at the sky, that's so pretty, man. Makes it worth being out here, but I'm sure we're gonna get one. We have to. It's been like an hour since that guy spooked them all, so there should be at least one back. Oh, yes. Boys, I'm not even joking. I swear I saw movement in the water and I cast it at it. And there was a fish there. I don't know whether that was just my mind playing tricks, but it paid off. So I don't give a damn. Oh my goodness. Dude. This is big. Wow. Could I get the net ready? Dude, the GoPro keeps cutting out. F you, GoPro. Wow. It's not even big, is it? It's not even big. How is that, hum how is that scientifically, how is that possible? It fought like a truck. What a little loser. Bro, I had me fooled that that was gonna be an 80 plus. <sighs> I got him. Literally like 65. And it fought better than the 75s today. That makes no sense. But still fun to catch, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> the GoPro cut out three times during that fight. So annoying. Bang that jerk shad. Hey buddy, look at his eyes moving. So cool, let's get him off. All right, got it. Let's send him off. Come here, look at the light, really light colored one. Genuinely thought that was gonna be a metery, but just put such a good fight for its size. Off it goes. Man, that was so good. Honestly, was giving up there a little bit. Haven't, has been a while since we got one, especially because that guy spooked them all, but guess there's one of them back. There's so many lays. You can just see the lays everywhere here, but oh man, that's a good feeling. Nice little one. Fought so hard though. That was actually really fun. Who said flatties don't fight hard? That wasn't even big and it fought like pretty hard. Not much else to say, really. <laughs> Should we try to go for another one? I mean, I'm going to keep casting until it's dark, really. So dare say we do. Look at that lay. That's a deep lay, deep, fresh lay. Oh my days. We're on. Wow. There we go. 
Yeah, baby. I was not expecting that. I was just drifting along, casting, admiring the swan stickles, and something just crushed it on that cast. GoPro's cutting out again. No idea why. Come on. GoPro cut out again, but this is big. Tried the head cam. Hopefully it doesn't conk out. As you can see, I'm holding a second GoPro. Mate, this is five star videography. I'm a professional. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, that's a pretty good one. It's not a giant, it's just fat and obviously really strong. Has a lot of go in it. Beautiful fish. Looks like the galaxy. Okay, I'm giving up on the head GoPro. We're just gonna rely on the hand cam. Look at this stupendous hand cam footage. Oh my goodness. Far out, my GoPro. I actually hate GoPros. Please sponsor me. You see what's going on? We just netted it. Here goes my tip. That's a solid, strong bitch. Fish. Whoops. Oh my days. <sighs> Try to get this out. Oh my days, brother. Brother, eh, brother, what's that? Come on, stop getting tangled. It's literally so close to being out. It's just freaking caught in the net, so I can't turn it. Screw the net to the moon. Honestly, this net is rubbish. I got it to, oh, it just fell out. Get out of the net. Stop biting the net. It's not that tasty. I gotta get a glove on. I don't have any gloves. I'm a freaking amateur nerd freak loser. Get this little fool out of here. Come here, buddy. Stop biting that. I'm gonna get a quick measure on it because that's a pretty solid, solid one. Come here, buddy. You'll be off in a jiff. 72, fat 72er. Let's send it back into the water. Thank you, fish. Uh, GoPro cut out right when I was letting it go. Come on. Up it goes. Beautiful fish. Power's off. The GoPro's gonna cut out any second, so enjoy it while it lasts. What a beast. Thank you, fish. <sighs> Look at the glowing red. Look how peaceful this is, man. This is beautiful. Look at it. 10 out of 10 conditions. All right, boys and girls, on that note, I think we're gonna wrap up the film there. Really successful session. Obviously, it probably would have been a little bit better if um, that guy didn't come spook our spot halfway through, but just one of the obstacles you have to overcome sometimes. <laughs> um, and also, it would have been a lot better if those blooming GoPro clips weren't cutting out so much while I was literally fighting a fish. That was the only times it was cutting out, man. The two times I was fighting those last two fish. But thank you so much for watching, regardless. See you all in the next one. Please like the video. And yeah, see you guys.